So today, um, I decided to, that the perfect quote was from one of my favorite holistic healers, and that's Dr. Bernie Siegel. And I understand from Dr. Jim that Dr. Siegel was also one of his inspirations. And uh, for those of you that may not be familiar with Dr. Bernie Siegel, he uh, graduated from Colgate University with his undergrad work. He got his MD from Cornell, and he did his, uh, his uh, training at Yale New Haven Hospital. And he's the author of 12 books, the most popular of which is Love, Medicine, and Miracles. And what I find incredibly synchronistic is as I was doing this research yesterday, guess what? His birthday is today, October 14th, and he's 85 years old today. So happy birthday, Dr. Bernie Siegel, and thank you so much for your brilliant contribution to holistic medicine. You have been amazing. So here's the quote. The most powerful tool in the doctor's little black bag to prevent or treat illness is the patient's own mind. Mm. The most powerful tool in the doctor's little bag to prevent or treat illness is the patient's own mind. I love this quote. Uh, it, 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 so what is he saying to us? What he's saying is that our thoughts, and here I would add our feelings, our words, our perceptions, are all having a dramatic impact on our health. And whether we know it or not, or whether we like it or not, our thoughts are impacting our body. And this reminds me of the work of Dr. Bruce Lipton, who is a favorite of mine, and he wrote a book called The Biology of Belief. And he proved scientifically in a laboratory that our cells are not informed by our genetics. He said our genetics are the blueprint of all the possible ways that we could show up in the human experience. But our cells are actually informed by what we think, by our environment, by our thoughts, our perceptions, our beliefs, by our words. And uh, so, Regardless of our age, you know, how we think is going to contribute to our health and to living a long life. So this is not a new conversation. This goes all the way back to the 1800s with Walter Waddles, if some of you might know of him. And then, of course, in more recent times in history, um, Dale Carnegie and Napoleon Hill. And these gentlemen proved that our thoughts, our perceptions, and beliefs are affecting our, our wellness and our longevity. So if you are prone to be a negative thinker, if you are prone to worry about your body and your health, then I invite you to make another decision. I invite you to choose again, to choose to see yourself in radiant health. You know, for the past 20 years since I've been so involved in my spiritual work, there's a mantra that I use every day, and that is that I am in radiant health and ageless beauty. So I've been very healthy. I don't even have a physician, the truth is. True. And I'm going to be 73 in February. So I think it's working, and I invite you to check it out. You have nothing to lose but excellent health and a long, happy life. <laughs>